Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 13th day of July 2023, and our topic for today is Caring for the Needy. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God in Heaven, we worship You and we bow before Your throne. We thank You for loving us so much. We thank you for caring for us so much. We thank you for providing all of our needs according to your riches in glory. Thank you for being very intentional about us. We come before you today with our hearts of gratitude. We say receive our thanks. We are here before you again, Lord, to hear you speak to us. We ask that you would send your word across to us today and let it lighten upon us. Let your word bring hope. Let it bring strength and fortification for those who are in need of it. Speak to us, O Lord, even as we listen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. Galatians 6 verse 10 reads, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. And our text for today is from the book of Matthew chapter 25 from verse 34 to 40. Matthew chapter 25 verse 34 to 40 reads, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of the Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew chapter 25 from verse 34 to verse 40. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Once again, our topic for today is caring for the needy. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that it is a fact that every human being no matter how intelligent or highly placed, would at one time or the other require assistance to deal with some circumstances. Such a situation that renders a person of great means incapacitated is usually the type that money, authority and influence cannot solve. At such times, the person is left with the option of calling for divine intervention through desperate prayers to the Almighty God. I pray that as you call on the name of the Lord in the day of trouble, He will answer you by fire in Jesus' name. If you want your prayers to be answered, however, you have a responsibility to the poor and needy around you. Our memory verse for today says, as we have opportunity, we should be a blessing to all human beings, especially those of the household of faith. Anyone who heartlessly disregards the needs of the weak and helpless is wicked. Such will be ignored in the day of trouble, no matter how desperately they cry for help. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13 The point of today's devotional is that we have a responsibility to care for the needy around us. When was the last time you helped the needy around you? When was the last time you made sacrifices in order to meet the needs of other people? Remember the Bible cited the care for others as one of the conditions for making heaven, as we saw in our Bible reading today. Our Lord Jesus described how his followers, who fed the hungry, are hospitable to strangers, clothe the naked, care for the sick, and visit prisoners, will be blessed by God 
and granted eternal life. He went further to say that inasmuch as those good deeds are done to any of his brethren, it is considered that the acts were done to him directly and vice versa. All believers and the church as a whole must not leave the poor and needy at the mercy of the government. The body of Christ must not fail in our responsibility to care for the less privileged among us. Remember, if you know how to do good but do not do it, it would be counted unto you as a sin. James chapter 4 verse 20 God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is caring for the needy. In James chapter 2 verse 15, scripture tells us, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Hallelujah! Does that not actually sound like the attitude of some believers today? Where you truly know that someone is in need and you have the privilege of being of help to such a person, yet you choose to pay deaf ears and in some cases you choose to say God bless you or you pray with him or her when you can simply do the needful and be the source of help. In today's study, we see a lot of lessons to be learned about the need and the importance of helping the needy around us. It is true that there may never be a time when we would not have the needy around us. You cannot totally eradicate them. However, we understand from our study today that we have a responsibility, we have a duty to care for them. And from our text for today, where our Lord Jesus described how his followers should care for the sick, feed the hungry, clothe the poor and the rest. One very important point we must note is that help was rendered to even strangers. And scripture makes us understand also that many have encountered angels by doing so. Many have stepped into their breakthroughs. God has met so many with answers to their heart's desires by so doing. It is also important to state at this point that not many who are needy and desirous of help actually enjoy doing so and being in that state. It is very important to disabuse our minds of the mentality that those who are not doing so well probably have not put in so much effort, otherwise they'll be doing better. Not everyone who is poor is lazy. We must also note that helping others is helping ourselves also. Doing for others is doing for ourselves too. God has a principle of blessing those who bless others. Scripture tells us in 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 26 that with the merciful, thou wilt shew thyself merciful. It repeats the same also in Psalm 18 verse 25 and I believe it is for emphasis that when you show mercy to someone, when you care and you demonstrate love to them, you are opening doors for the same in your life. No wonder scripture tells us in Luke chapter 6 verse 38 to give, it says, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over it says, Shall men give into your bosom? It tells us, For the same measure that ye meet without, it shall be measured to you again. Hallelujah! Do you also know that these good works can pave a way of exemption for you in the day of need? King Ezekiah is a good example. One time, Prophet Isaiah came to him and told him to put his house in order because he was going to die. Scripture tells us in Isaiah chapter 38 verse 2 that then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Verse 3 says, And said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Verse 4 and 5 tells us, Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Praise God. God can truly, on the basis of your sacrifices, exempt you from impending danger. Hallelujah! So as much as God has given us the capacity, as much as he has given us the grace to be of help, we must gladly do so. 
In our text for today, our Lord Jesus was saying, Inasmuch as you have done this to one of the least of the brethren, you have done it to him. If our Lord Jesus was to walk the streets of this earth in our time, we would have so many people who would want to volunteer themselves to do one thing or the other. So many would even want to give him their last. But here today we learn from our text that we do for our Lord Jesus whatever we do for those around us. And whatever we do for our Lord Jesus, we know for sure that our reward would never be lost. Hallelujah. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and just appreciate God for the privilege to be a blessing. He has not only blessed us, he has also granted us the grace to, in our own way, be of help to others in whatever capacity. Say, Father, we are grateful. Now we would ask the Lord for the grace to love. That love of God that wells up from the inside. The love that would make us extend a helping hand to a brother. The love that would make us to be our brother's keeper. The love that would make us to move away from the thoughts and the mindset of me, myself and I. We receive today in the name of Jesus. I'd also like us to sincerely pray and ask the Lord would say, Father, that grace that abounds towards us, always making us have all sufficiency in all things that we may abound to every good work, please grant unto us in the name of Jesus the resources and all that our heart desires to have so that we may reach out to those in need. Lord, grant them unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, bless us that we may bless others. All these and even many more we are asking today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word that has come to us today. We are grateful. Lord, we ask that once again you would walk in our lives and through our lives. Let your love be felt and experienced by all as you would use us to reach as many as are in need around us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in our study today that tells us, Join me to praise the Lord as my wife, a woman completely given to the care of the needy, marks her birthday today. Hallelujah. I'd like us in one minute to just bow our heads and pray for our mother in Israel, a great mother to us all. Just declare into her life all that you would want to see manifest in this new year. Pray the peace of the Lord upon her. Pray health. Pray prosperity. Pray divine wisdom to lead aright and also to be the perfect support system and help meet. Pray that as she advances in age, so will her strength advance. That should grow from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Songs of Solomon chapter 1 down to chapter 4. We are also thanking you and appreciating you for sparing our time to fellowship with us today. We believe you are being blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. You can do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 4 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Have an amazing day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.